Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover the free course opportunity from ISRO, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing and ISRO. They are organizing one uh, data analytics course for the candidates, those who are pursuing any undergraduate as well as postgraduate. If you are pursuing any degree from UG or any degree from PG and whatever the year you are studying, you are eligible to apply for this particular data analytics course. So they are given guidelines to uh, register as well as to complete the course. There is a step by step process. So in step one, we need to register and if we have already login credentials or if you registered previously, no need to register again, the same credentials you can use now. So if you are not registered previously, you need to register now, they are given a link here. So with the help of this link, you can register. When we click on this link, it will be redirected to the registration form and we need to fill the uh, full name, email ID, confirmation mail and password and we need to retype the password then register. If you already register, then click on already register it will be asking you to log in here. So once we register, they will send one confirmation mail to the registered mail ID. So by clicking on the link on that particular mail ID, you are going to activate that corresponding account. We need to activate our account by clicking on the link which we received on the registered mail ID. So once the account is activated, so there are multiple options are there, but as an individual, we can apply for this particular uh, course. After registration, the coordinator or the director will review your application, then he may approve. So once the review process is done, all the approved participants will receive a confirmation mail with the login credentials for the e-class as well as e-learning. For both these websites, they send the credentials and the same credentials we can use for login into e-classroom as well as e-learning. So one is for to learn the course and second one is to write the exam. So if you receive the credentials through the mail, then no problem. You can directly log in into this particular website to learn the course as well as you can log in here to write the exam. If not, we can check the status by clicking on the link. And if it is approved, we can continue the course here. By clicking on this link, you can check the status of your registration. If the registration is approved by them, you can click on this link to change your password. And if the status of your application is not approved, that means you are not shortlisted to learn this course. Once the registration is approved, you can start learning by logging into eClassroom. While attending the classes, they will record your attendance automatically. In general, whatever the course duration we have, the, in that particular course duration, after completion of 50% of time, they are going to record or they are going to track your attendance automatically. If suppose the class duration is one hour, after 30 minutes, they are going to track your attendance. Minimum 70% attendance is required. And if suppose due to any problem, if you are unable to attend the classes during the online session or live sessions, you can attend or you can uh, attend the same lecture in offline mode also. That facility is also there in the ISRO. So all the study materials are available in the e-learning. So we can also check the status of attendance in the e-classroom and feedback we need to submit. For every course, we need to submit the feedback. It is also mandatory. After successful completion of your uh, course, we need to write the exam and the date of exam will be communicated just two weeks before the exam date after completion of your course. So during the exam, you are going to have all multiple choice questions only or true or false statements based on the question you will be asked during the online examination. So there are some set of questions are there and from this set of questions, you are going to get the question randomly and we need to answer. The minimum passing is also not fixed and based on the type of the course, the minimum passing score will be uh, communicated in the due course. During the course learning, you are going to get all these details through the mail only. For exam also, there is a minimum pass percentage and if you qualify in the exam, you are going to get the certificate within two to three weeks of online examination. At the same time, the same certificate will be available in the e-classroom login. You can check anytime. And for validation also, they are providing the QR code in their web page. And by scanning the QR code, we can get the certificate. If you have any technical support or if we have any queries, you can contact on these numbers. If you need any clarifications regarding the content of the course, you can contact on this number. If, if you need any support uh, in terms of web as well as technical support, then you can contact on this number. And if you need any help regarding certificate, you can contact all this number. In the same manner, these are the mail IDs. You can go through. So as I said now, you can click on this link to uh, register as well as or to login. 
So once you logged in, we need to select the course here. I choose in remote sensing data analytics for crop production forecasting. This is the course I took here. Uh, if you want, you can choose any one of these courses also. So then prerequisite. So the basic qualification is any candidate, those who are pursuing undergraduate and postgraduate, that is BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, uh, MSE, MCA, BCA, BSc, BCom, like this, any candidates are eligible to register for this particular course. Then basic knowledge on, so I am selecting not applicable. Then how the course content of this course will be useful for your professional career. We need to type some message here, how this particular course content uh, will be useful for my career. Then click on next. So when we click on next, it will ask you the personal details. You can choose anyone here. Then full name, father name, date of birth, gender, nationality, mobile number, city, country, and postal zip code we need to enter. So after entering, you need to click save and continue. Then enter the educational qualification. So highest qualification as uh, the candidate is pursuing undergraduation. So I'm writing undergraduation. Then major subjects, which university board, then year of passing, 29, then save and continue. Then professional documents we need to write, employment status, whether you are a student, working professional, employed or foreign student. So I am selecting student here. Qualification, UG, we need to upload photo and identification proof, passport, voter ID, PAN card, other card, any uh, government ID, then whatever the ID we choose. And for example, I took other card here, we need to upload other card, then other number, then save and continue. At last, we need to preview this, then submit. Once the screening process was done, you may be get the confirmation mail regarding the shortlist. That's all for now. If you have any queries, simply comment on me so that I'll try to reply. Thank you. All the best.